Steffi, thank you so very, very much. And we are incredibly excited to have Arno Leberenz here with us uh, today. Um, but before starting, I wanted again to ask you all to give a very special applause to the greatest junction maker, to Steffi. Because not only, uh, and it was J.G. Ballard who once said the most important thing are junctions, to bring people together. And not only Munich, but in many, many other cities all over the world where Steffi uh, carries DLD, um, uh, this happens now. And that leads us right away to the panel today, because this new idea was born that with Aino and Steffi, DLD would now go to Burkina Faso, and that would be the first uh, DLD Africa, which can be uh, announced here. Now, uh, before introducing Aino, I just wanted to tell you a few more words about Christoph Schlingensief. Uh, actually, I met Christoph uh, many, many years ago when with Klaus Biesenbach and uh, Nancy Spector we worked on the first Berlin Biennale. Uh, and we then continued to work on Utopia Station here in Haus der Kunst uh, and also for the Venice Biennale with the Church of Fear. And Christoph once told me something amazing when I asked him why he became an artist. He said when he grew up in a small town in Germany and his father, uh, a pharmacist, was a member of the Rotary Club uh, and never really had any doubts. He was the sort of, you know, Wirtschaftswunder of Germany after the war. And there was only one day when all of a sudden the father came home very destabilized. It was when the great Joseph Beuys, one of Germany's leading artists, had actually come to the Rotary Club to give a lecture. And Joseph Beuys had proclaimed in the Rotary Club in the small town that exactly seven years from now, capitalism will come to an end. And Christoph told me his father put it in a little calendar and actually every day, every day looked at the calendar how many days until the end of capitalism. So obviously capitalism didn't end, but Christoph had understood the power of art because it was the only time ever his father was destabilized. So that in memory of the wonderful Christoph Schlingensief and this incredible idea of a Gesamtkunstwerk of the African Opera Village uh, together with Aino Laborenz and of course also the architect Kere and many, many participants in Burkina Faso. This vision continues and we're extremely excited to have actually Aino here to, uh, with us to tell us about the progress, about how the project uh, evolves uh, and above, above all about the future, the future of the Opera Village uh, in Burkina Faso. Please give a very, very warm welcome to Aino. So shall we sit down? We also have with us Lucas, uh, because as Eduard Lisson says, we always need at least to have two languages on a panel. So I know we we'll speak in English, we we'll chat in English, sometimes we'll go back to German, then Lucas will translate. So this is a multilinguist panel. So, I know maybe we can begin with the beginning, well, no? Man, because you have. Yeah. Yes, uh, first of all, the, the film was Christoph uh, 2010. Oder uh, warten zehn Jahre auf die Karte und dann passiert. Die Oper ist aber viel mehr. Die Oper ist eben quergeschnitten eine Landschaft. Sie besteht eben aus dem Plebs, sie besteht aus dem Witwen und aus den Witwern, aus den Kindern, aus dem Proletariat, aus den Reichen, aus allen Menschen durchgeschnitten. Und sie kommt eigentlich vom griechischen Chor, der Chor, der eingesetzt wurde, um Leute zu heilen. Die Ärzte haben Chor verschrieben. Sie haben gesagt, sie hören sich viermal dieses Lied an, sie hören sich fünfmal dieses Lied an, dann werden sie wieder gesünder sein. Auch das ist ein Element, Heilung durch durch Musik, Heilung durch Kunst, Heilung durch praktisch mitmachen und auch vor allen Dingen erstmal lernen, wer bin ich und warum habe ich vielleicht gerade eine Krankheit an der Backe. Das war äh, ehrlich gesagt lernen wir immer nur, dass da ein Kind ist mit einer Fliege am Auge, das hat dann Cholera, das hat Aids, das ist äh, schwer verwundet, es gibt Kriege, keine anderen Bilder von Afrika und das stimmt einfach nicht. Diese Bilder will ich nicht mehr sehen. Ich soll immer nur spenden, wenn jemand leidet in Afrika und das stimmt nicht. Das Potenzial von Afrika ist praktisch diese Klarheit, diese spirituelle Reinheit. Diese Leute, die dort leben, die haben noch diese Freiheit in sich, die wir schon verloren haben. Wir haben uns zugeschüttet, wir alle haben das ja. Wir haben ja, wie soll ich mich denn selber kennen? 
kennenlernen, wenn permanent jemand mir sagt, hier, twitter mich an, mach mich hier mal zu, erzähl mir da, willst du mein Freund sein, willst du hier sein, willst du da sein, bin ich überhaupt da noch da? Diese Auflösung stelle ich in Frage und ich sage, diese Leute wandern in einem Leben nur fünf Kilometer maximal. Wir wandern in einer Generation, wenn wir unsere Familien angucken, 30.000 Kilometer, was weiß ich, wie viel Kilometer, 50.000, 100.000, aber die nur fünf Kilometer, das ist ein Potenzial für die Zukunft, für uns und wir werden da Krankenhaus haben, wir werden da Schule haben, Filmklasse und äh, wir werden mit Jung von Matt aus Deutschland eine sehr gute Internetpräsenz haben. Ab Februar wird das anfangen. Also das heißt, ich lerne von Afrika diese Sachen, die ich auch in mir habe. Und wenn ich plötzlich an der Reinheit dieser Menschen sehe, was ich mal war, kann ich auch anfangen, praktisch Mitleid wieder zu bekommen mit anderen Menschen, wenn sie sich durch eine Krankheit oder durch Zustände in ihrem Leben praktisch verloren haben. Dann weiß ich ja, warum sie sich verloren haben. Dann weiß ich, was sie eigentlich verloren haben. Nämlich mich, sie selber. Wir sind dann eins. Das ist das zentrale Thema. We will make sure that the look at Africa will not be the usual one. Okay, I know this. You have enough money. No, please, more of that. Give me more of Africa. I want to see more of Africa. We will make sure this happens and we need help. Okay, the first confusion. I know because we have here this presentation and we have of course the master plan of the village and it would be wonderful because you obviously um, among your many parallel realities because you're a stage designer you make costumes but also since uh, Christoph's death you are responsible for the village you run the village the progress of the village it would be great to hear from you um, how this amazing project evolves and 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 how it's sort of structured um, uh, Christoph sees uh, only some fundaments from the school um, or for some buildings and um, I start to set up um, the whole uh, structure and so now there are about uh, 20 um, uh, living modules and uh, a school and in uh, the beginning of June I opened uh, a clinic and the first child is born. So this is uh, right now the structure in Burkina Faso. So, yeah. Can you tell us a bit about the collaboration with the architect because it's a great African architect uh, Francis Carey who spends yeah. a lot of time in Germany and yeah. whom you and Christoph commissioned yeah. to design the, the village. Yeah, for Christoph, it was always uh, important to work with the um, people, with the locals uh, around, also for the building, but also for the um, structure and the architecture to work with uh, local materials. And um, so they met, I think it was 2009, in the end of 2009, and it was uh, from the first, um, uh, it was from the beginning uh, like a, yeah, a meeting and they were uh, speaking the same language in a way. And so uh, because Francis uh, is coming from Burkina Faso, living in Germany, uh, and works with, um, with uh, material uh, in, uh, with, with lehm, with, with uh, the, the earth uh, of, of Burkina, um, having a um, way um, to build up the house without uh, um, climatic, uh, Klimaanlage, <laughs> climatic, air yeah, air condition, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and so, so he was thinking about, um, um, yeah, to, to uh, work there in a really easy and, and um, uh, way. And this was uh, for Christoph also um, a, a big point, so. And one thing, because you mentioned lame, this sort of earth clay with which it's made, and obviously that's a material which usually doesn't last. And um, I remember Christoph once told me that the idea was to combine this lame with cement, with some concrete, a small percentage of concrete, to make it more lasting? How does yeah, but that work? This is an idea from, um, it's an old idea also in Burkina, and um, Francis Quiré is handling with this um, technique. So um, this is like um, lame with 8% of, of um, cement, and it's sun drying bricks, so it's not uh, with, with heat. And uh, when I I was uh, restart uh, after we stopped the construction. Um, I had to uh, work with um, 
um, um, uh, with companies from uh, Burkina, um, but they had to uh, handle with a, with a um, um, technic. And after that, and, and now we are in a situation to um, educate the worker, and they really um, doing the the bricks uh, by handcraft. So we can educate them in many ways of um, Schweißen, Maurer, Maurer, kind of <laughs> ganz in English Begriffe. Uh, so so we educate them. In, in uh, building up their like own um, own building, so they are um, also a part of of the village. Now it is uh, um, yeah a village with lots of different things. There is of course the hospital you mentioned. There are uh, there is you know houses, and there is also the idea of the theatre in the centre of it all. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about how the overall plan is structured? Yeah, it's um, um, so. So in the middle there is a, a kind of heart. Is a, um, a, the the it's not the opera, but it's a kind of stage. But um, I think um, we are still running a school, and we have um, it's a primary school. We have now in October the fourth. Uh, fourth class and um, they um, they are into art in many um, forms so there um, we have uh, like workshops with uh, artists from Burkina and so for me it's not um, the important thing to have a, um, a stage when we want to have art in a real life like every time so I don't need the the um, bound on a on a building um, to to produce or to do art in a in, in a way and um, yeah so this is the last step to build up the um, like a um, atrium or whatever so a real e easy stage but the opera is not uh, a building it's a whole village in a way because it's f it's maybe uh, just to s to look for um, yeah break down the borders between life and art and maybe um, what uh, Christoph was saying maybe the sound of a um, first uh, birth uh, child um, is the best opera sound than our opera in, in a Western uh, world. Now he called it opera, and obviously opera is a unifying kind of art form. There is emotional aspects, political aspects. It's also a social project. Um, why this word opera? Why do you think he used the word opera? Um, for Christoph, it was um, in opera. There were a lot of um, uh, of uh, art perspectives inside the music, the language, uh, set design, so kind of installation. And he wants to do a open way of of uh, opera. And he wants to um, 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 yeah don't want to show opera or art on a um, uh, podest on a um, uh, on a high level he want to to um, uh, yeah take it down to 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 re reality in a way so but for me this um, this discussion is uh, is all, um, it's a project in Burkina Faso it's a village with a school with a hospital hospital with a clinic um, included arts um, but for me the discussion what we see in Africa that we, um, yeah, that we always uh, tend to say it's um, we don't separate in in countries, we don't separate in history. It's always um, Africa as one uh, kind of land, and um, um, this uh, this uh, picture of you we have about this country. I, I think this is one of um, my interest uh, to to have this discussion about our view to open it uh, to um, think about it because every picture we have from Af Africa is a picture we um, do by ourselves with uh, our journalists with our photographs and the opera villages also like a um, surface a, a platform Christoph uh, yeah called it a um, um, photographic uh, platform um, um, yeah, where they can um, make their own pictures uh, and, and show them to us. 
And there is also a cultural program, as we can see now. The idea was from the beginning that there would be a kind of a Festspielhaus. There would be a headquarter of a festival, a theater in the middle of the square. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about this idea of, of the Festspielhaus and this idea of a cultural program? What's the kind of content happening in yeah, for me, um, it's important. Uh, I don't want to give something, um, uh, do a opera, do a theater play, whatever. Um, for me, um, the next big step is uh, exchange between artists. So to um, to ask artists, or if it's a firma or a visual artist, um, uh, to, to be there and um, spend some time, like four months or whatever. And I don't want to um, say, them uh, do a photo workshop with the children or do a opera in my understanding and for me the exchange exchange is uh, important to to yeah to get something because um, one sentence one big sentence is to learn from Africa to get something and not only to to give their our help because maybe we can't uh, help ourselves here so why should we help in Africa uh, it's obviously not at all you know related to to Bayreuth, but at the same time, I, you know, um, I was thinking on the way here, you know, reading through interviews and all mm -hmm. of that, it is obviously, you know, the legacy of a place where things will continue, even if it's almost the opposite of yeah. Bayreuth. And I remember always these late night phone calls Christoph yeah. gave me during the time he worked on the Wagner. And I think it's more or less the time when yeah, you yeah. met also. Yeah, yeah. So I was always wondering, did it kind of, maybe it kind of grew also a little bit out of this trauma of Bayreuth to do something very different or? Yeah, maybe <laughs> uh, he find out that opera is uh, much more than Bayreuth, a uh, Festspielhaus in, in Bayreuth was only Wagner um, for, uh, be, uh, because he wanted to do the Erweiterte Opernbegriff. An expanded notion yeah, of opera. Yeah, yeah. So, so he wants to, to open our, our um, uh, um, thinking of opera, our thinking of art. He, want, he um, always said, and, and this was one thing for the opera village, uh, we don't have to, to set up to build a social plastic, we have to see it. We have to listen to, to something. And um, the opera village in itself is a kind of art project so Christoph, as an artist, wants to collect um, uh, several uh, views. Uh, he wants to uh, sharp his sense in a way, and and um, so for me, this is we can we can we can collect uh, many things we don't uh, have here. Maybe another way to explain uh, uh, um, the world. They have another way they handle with death. We don't can do that here in our um, uh, world. So, so um, we can learn a lot uh, to, to see how they um, live with uh, different religions uh, uh, parallel. So maybe this is one thing we can look after that. It's interesting you mentioned the Erweiterte the open begriff because obviously the expanded notion of opera brings us back right away to, to Joseph Beuys who mm -hmm. talked about the Erweiterte yeah. the Kunstbegriff. Yeah. You know, Beuys talked about the expanded notion of art. But it's interesting also the kind of idea of the Gesamtkunstwerk and, and Wagner and obviously um, the early Wagner had a very sort of open, almost participatory idea of the Gesamtkunstwerk and then mm -hmm. later with Bayreuth it became much more, you know, it's not that there was a lot of space for the viewer, there is kind of like, it's quite imposed. And, mm -hmm. and I remember conversations we had with Christoph about this, to maybe go back to a more participatory Gesamtkunstwerk, mm -hmm. where, where you're not overwhelmed, no, where, the, where the, the viewer, the exactly. <laughs> and, 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 I, and that's obviously leads us back to Burkina Faso on this project, because I've, I have always the feeling when I hear you speak about it and Christoph, that it's very participatory, the people there are a big part of it, they participate. Yeah, they right? are. The, the locals are in, in the building um, uh, and also in the, in the uh, arts program in the way, because I only uh, till now work with, with the artists from Burkina Faso, it was one thing we see right now, the, the um, picture from the children from our school, and there was one uh, long time workshop, but this, is, this was the first step to, to work with a German study um, uh, um, a person in, way, um, uh, in Burkina Faso for a longer time. And um, the exchange is the future, and for now, um, it's, uh, I still run this project for four years, and, and now there is a structure you can 
um, think uh, further um, or start to, to think about a bigger exchange because, um, yeah, for sure, with Christoph, uh, maybe it would be another um, uh, thing, but this is not um, my way of thinking or my um, discussion. I'm into the, the first things about this vision, about this uh, discussion uh, behind and, and um, yeah, now, now maybe there is some artist who, who is uh, doing something I can't, um, yeah, steuern. Um. Control. Yeah, control. <laughs> now, Africa is, was a great, and we saw it in the little interview, in the little, you know, introduction of the, what Steffi mentioned, yeah. the case of speech here at DLD, um, when he talks about Africa, learning from Africa, and obviously Africa played an important role already in his work before, in the sort of United Trash or Deutschland Suche 99, uh, where he basically, um, you know, Die yeah, exactly, with, he's, Wagner. with Wagner again, <laughs> um, and, and and so he's always had an interest in in Africa. And you, you yeah. and he often said that it's about learning from Africa. Can you talk a little bit about what you're learning? Um, I think it's it's um, uh, it's maybe a little bit the, um, this why Africa, this overcoming about our limited few, because we always um, have this uh, logical way to explain the world. And um, and we always think this is the right position, and um, it's always uh, this kind of helping to go somewhere and and help. It's a, a, a top to down situation, and uh, for me, it's um, it's much more important to listen. Maybe this other kind of way, uh, um, in a, a mystical way, um, uh, and and we have the same um, ergebnis reason. Na, na, uh, um, uh, result, yeah, <laughs> the same result. <laughs> um, um, so why not? Why do we uh, always say uh, our way of thinking is the right way of thinking? So um, yeah, th this is all this thing to to um, lay down um, our um, rating system in a way. Um, uh, is, uh, th this is the point where I'm learning a lot. Now, maybe a last question, the future, because um, Steffi mentioned this morning, you know, one of the key moments here of uh, this DLD is obviously about the future. We heard about the city, you know, in this morning in 2023, I think. And um, I was kind of wondering how you see the Opera Village in 2023. What, what are the kind of future perspectives? Are there unrealized projects, <laughs> dreams, things, part of Christoph's yeah, and your vision which you haven't had yet the possibility? Because I know that you did a, a Spenden auction. There was an auction called 3000 in 2012 where you raised more than a million you know, mm -hmm. to progress on, on the village. But I'm sure there are more still unrealized projects. What, what's what's going to come? I don't know. I hope, um, I, I'm really uh, hoping for the um, uh, future that there are a lot of artists uh, into the project. Not only the, the name of Christoph, this is a vision and this is a really uh, strong vision and this vision is uh, also in, in the reality but it's also open for other artists and, and for the exchange and I'm really hoping that it's growing up in this way to, um, to take uh, also from Africa then from uh, Europe, from Germany, whatever. And and um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping they're like um, different houses and then our uh, um, uh, models uh, um, that maybe fantasy buildings from the locals or from, from an artist. Maybe there is a, a temporary uh, opera building as a, um, a big building and in the next year this, it's, it's, they break it down and think another uh, way of building a ship. I don't know. So, um, so it's yeah. all wide open, which is yes. fantastic. I know, thank you so very, very much. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you, and thanks to Luca. Thank you all. <laughs> thank you.